is never too much chocolate, and you always run out of Ruffalo so fast. Instead, you don't need that much chewing gum to treat your friends. Watch in our new video, How to Make Your Favorite Candies Giant or Miniature. Our old friend Emma is dreaming. Is it Brad Pitt proposing to her in her dream? No. The hero of her sweet dream is a good-looking chocolate bar, a giant Kit Kat. She hugs it and squeezes it and wants to have a bite of chocolate and wakes up. It turns out that she is holding a pillow instead of a Kit Kat and is going to bite a corner of the pillow. Put four wafers side by side. Put three more crosswise on top. Melt 3.5 ounces of white and 3.5 ounces of black chocolate together and spread it over the wafers. Make another same way for construction next. Join the two using chocolate. Print out a label. Make a big wrapper from red paper. Put the extra large chocolate bar inside and close the wrapper. Make jagged edges like a real wrapper. Being impressed by her dream, Emma tells everything to her friend. Well, this sweet dream has come true. The blue-eyed girl casts a spell on the normal-sized Kit Kat, turning it into a giant chocolate bar. She unwraps the chocolate. Dear me, I won't be able to eat this huge bar all by myself. Emma splits the bar in half and treats her friend. My friend has a terrible habit. She is always taking my chewing gum. It doesn't matter where I am. She manages to find me and make me give her one more stick. Once I go to bed, and all of a sudden, I hear someone sneaking in and looking for something under my pillow. I open my eyes, and guess who's there? Emma! Looking for chewing gum again. This is way too much. Here, take what you're looking for and go away. Take a chewing stick out of a juicy fruit package. Cut it into small strips. Cut the wrapper as well and wrap the small strips of chewing gum into mini wrappers. Make a tube out of yellow paper and put tiny sticks inside. Fold up the edges to imitate a real package and glue them. Attach a little gum label on top. My friend isn't definitely crazy about the fact that she's got such a tiny piece of gum. I won't even be able to chew it, let alone blow bubbles. Huh, nothing but a show. Oh, I will arrange a sweet feast with M&Ms for myself right now. But all of a sudden, my friend appears out of nowhere and reaches out for my candies. No way, my darling. It's a selfish feast, and I have a special portion for you. Crush some peanuts into fine crumbs. Melt dark chocolate. Add the peanuts and stir. Shape it into small chocolate balls. Cover each ball with a thin layer of color sugar paste. Write an M letter on each ball with a white food marker. Print out a mini version of the M&M's label and make a package. Put the candies into it. Glue the pack. My friend puts the candies from the micro package into a mini bowl. The amount of candies is so small that it's nothing to eat. They are certainly tasty, but the amount is way too little. There is nothing sweet except for wafers, but it's boring. And what if I turn them into my favorite Ruffello candy? Cover an almond with boiling water and leave it for some time. You can peel it easily. You will need a lot of wafers for a giant candy. Take a big bowl, crumble 14 ounces in hands, and cover it with a lot of condensed milk. We will need a 14 ounce bottle. Do not pour out all the milk. There should be enough of it so that the wafer crumbs soak it in and the mass will be easy to shape. Mix everything thoroughly. Put coconut flakes in a plate. Put half of the wafer crumbs on top and shape it into a round sweet lump that looks like a semi-sphere. Cover it with condensed milk and sprinkle with coconut flakes. Make a second semi-sphere in the same way. Turn it over. Pour the condensed milk over the flat side and add a handful of peeled almonds. Add more milk to cover the almonds and put on the other semi-sphere to shape a ball. We need to fasten the two halves nicely. Melt around five to seven ounces of white confectionery chocolate in a fondue pot or in a double boiler. 
Cover small parts of the ball with it and sprinkle it with coconut flakes while the chocolate is still warm. Cut out a big printed Ruffello label. Attach it to a clear package and put the candy inside. Add details. My blue-eyed friend has a sweet tooth. A giant Raffaello attracts her attention at once. She just can't resist tasting it. But it is not that easy to eat that huge ball of candy. A silhouette of a giant Raffaello shows up here and there. Her hands have got tired holding this heavy weight. The blue-eyed girl makes a cup of tea, breaks the candy, and tries to eat it this way. But the sweet tooth has bitten off more than she can chew. She's eaten only half, and her stomach is ready to pop. This is what I find her in the kitchen. I've got you, sweet tooth. Once the blue-eyed girl is ready to enjoy her chupa chups, an unexpected phone call distracts her. I need to take advantage of it. It is not healthy to eat that many candies. I swap her regular candy for its mini version. Cut off the tips of a Q-tip. Add a few drops of blueberry jam to a tablespoon of sugar and melt it above a fire. Rotate the Q-tip to let the caramel wrap around, shaping a ball. Print out a small size Chupa Chups label. Cut it out. Once the candy cools down, wrap it in a clear wrapping. Put on the label with a clear cover on top. Tape to fasten. Cut off the excess stick. The blue-eyed girl finishes talking on her phone. But what is it? The only thing left from her chupa chups is a wrapper. And a tiny lollipop that isn't bigger than her nail has appeared instead of it. Well, as long as I don't have a normal-sized lollipop, I will eat this one. I should be careful not to swallow it together with a stick. I wonder what is inside this big Skittles package. Are there a million colorful candies in it? I want to take it, but my friend doesn't want to give it away. All of a sudden, our sweet treasure rips open, and a giant Skittle asteroid falls onto us instead of a Skittles rainbow. Open up a two-pound package of green sugar paste. Knead it nicely. And shape it into a big, flattened ball, layer by layer. Roll out a piece of sugar paste. Cut out a circle using a plate. Wrap it around the main detail. Turn it over and cover the other side in the same way. Smooth out the seam. Write a big S letter with a white food marker. Glue a large Skittles label to red paper. Make a package. and put in the giant candy and glue the edge. This Skittles is strange, huge, and terrifying. It looks like a flying object. Emma wants to cut it with regular tableware to see what's inside of it. And I decide to split the treasure in half. But the extraterrestrial metal is a hard nut to crack. Then Emma takes Thor's hammer. But it's useless anyways. Let me try the trident of Neptune. Or rather, a bident. I manage to prick this giant, but not more than that. Then my friend tries a tough method, so she just bites it. Hmm. The unknown flying object tastes like regular sugar paste. Nothing mysterious about it. The blue-eyed girl wants to eat Snickers, but I want to eat it too. The problem is that we only have one chocolate bar, and it is very small. But we can fix it in a moment. Take five bars of three and a half ounces of toffee. Melt two ounces of dark and one ounce of white chocolate in a double boiler. Add one ounce of peeled peanuts and mix it. Put two toffee bars side by side and the third one on top to cover the joint. Cover the toffee bricks with the chocolate and peanut cement. Put two more bars on top and cover the toffee with a thick chocolate layer. Melt one ounce of dark and one ounce of white chocolate and spread it all over the giant Snickers. Glue two printed labels to make a wrapper. Put the bar inside and glue the package. Make a zigzag cut across the edge. 
My new Snickers bar is big and tasty. Now my friend is jealous of me. But I will also start eating my sweet Snickers right under her nose. Let her practice her willpower and finish eating her regular bar. Did you like our sweet magic? Then write in your comments which candy you would like to make bigger and which one smaller. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss the sweetest things on our channel.